Programmers love shortcuts, and as you look at examples out on the internet and on MSDN, you'll see the use of object initializers and also collection initializers. We'll cover both in this video. It lets you shorten about three or four lines of code in this simple example that we used in the previous lesson into one line of code. So let me do this. Let me just paste in. You can see I've already commented out, oh, I don't know, about a dozen lines of code. I'm going to paste in two lines of code. So here what I've done is create a new instance of car equals new car and then I have this curly brace syntax afterwards. You can see that there's an open curly brace and a closed curly brace. So there's a block of code immediately after the declaration of the new instance of the car class. Then you can see I'm using a name value or name of the property equals then the value nomenclature and I'm using a comma to separate the various properties that I want to set as I initialize the properties for this new object. Let me type the last one in. We'll type in this car3 and you can see how IntelliSense pops up as we're working and how it helps out as well. Car3 equals new car and then I'm going to use an open curly brace and when I use the space bar on my keyboard after that curly brace, it knows that I want to create an object initializer. So it pops open IntelliSense to give me two property options. So we'll set make, and I'll use the space bar to autocomplete, equals uh, Nissan, and then I'll use a comma and then space. It'll open up uh, the IntelliSense one more time, but it'll only show me the final property that I need to set. So it eliminated the first one, which I think is a neat feature. So again, I'll use the spacebar equals spacebar Altima, close curly brace, and then end of line character, the semicolon. And so now I've created three object initializers. And as you can see, I've reduced, oh, maybe 12, 15 lines of code, well, at least let's say nine lines of code, these three sections of code into three lines. So less verbose, easier to understand what's going on as I look at a single line declaration as opposed to a multi-line declaration, which takes a little bit more uh, effort to, to look through. But if that were the end of the story, it would just be a nice little shortcut. There's actually one other neat feature, which is collection initializers, which takes this to another level. So I'm gonna comment this out. And uh, I'll go ahead and type in this example. So same idea, but we're going to use it to create. Uh, we're going to create a list and then populate it with three instances of car objects. So instead of explain it, let me just type it in. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start right after I've created a new instance of the list of type car open curly brace and then I'll I could do this all on one line of code I'm gonna go ahead and use the enter key on my keyboard to move down I like it uh, to be a little more organized that way now notice I'm using an object initializer inside of a collection initializer so here again we'll go make equals Oldsmobile model equals Supreme. All right, so I'm going to bring this new object to a close and I'm going to hit the comma on my keyboard and go to the next line. Now, one thing I want to point out notice that I didn't have to create a variable called car1 in order to hold this value. So that's one benefit. I'm not creating uh, references to new instances of, ob of classes that I'm creating. We'll do it again to create a second instance that will fit inside here. Whoops, let's go make first. All right, so I've created 
three instances of the car class and set the properties using object initializers. Finally, what I'm going to do is close off then this beginning curly brace with a final curly brace here and then use the semicolon to end this line of code. So technically it's still just one line of code. Uh, I've put it on three separate lines. If I really wanted to get fancy here, I could put it all on one line of code. Not necessary. I'd prefer the ease of readability. Some people also prefer to put that curly brace there on the next line. Uh, either way is acceptable. Uh, however, now I'm able to create and initialize a collection of cars all in one code statement. Pretty neat stuff. Uh, the app, the application should still run correctly unless I've done something just crazy here, and it does work. So, admittedly, this syntax might be a little bit daunting at first, but you're going to see it so often in code examples that I want you to be aware that it exists and what it's doing. In fact, I think you should familiarize yourself with it and use it from the beginning as you're getting started learning C Sharp so that it just becomes part of your personal preference. It's a very compact way to, uh, to create a new collection or at least a new object with new instances of objects for use within your applications. All right, so let's move on from there. You're doing great. Stay on course. We'll continue in the next video. Thank you. Mm -hmm.